starting in goal for the North Stars will be Brian Hayward. This is his first start as a North Star goaltender against the Chicago Blackhawks. He only lost a week ago Saturday. Tough overtime loss in Toronto, playing pretty well, goaltending for the Stars. Not a whole lot you can say about this guy that we haven't written or heard about. He's probably, there's thought here. I know Ronick's had a good year and Larmer, Larmer's had a pretty good year, but this guy is the Chicago Blackhawks MVP with 41 wins. He's not a very orthodox goaltender, but he gets it done. He covers an awful lot of area of the front of his the goals scored with 20. So you never know when there's going to be that offensive threat. And here's a two on one. Dirk Graham for Larmer. Shoots the save by Hayward. Which is interestingly enough, the same number of points the Blackhawks have in the standings coming into today's game. That is offside. And now Tenorti and Chelios exchange pleasantries. Dirk Graham is down there with Gagne. And here comes Bellows. Now Brock locked up. Pop is there. Everybody involved now. A little pushing in the corner. Dirk Graham. Dirk Graham again comes in as Chelios really precipitated this whole event as Tenorti had started the rush. Now Chelios is 180 minutes of penalties. Other than Mike Hudson, who is or not, or Peluso, who's been suspended for 10 games for his part in a brawl last week. Chelios is the guy that causes an awful lot of this type of play. He's a gamer. Tenorti banged up against Washington, taped up, but in the meantime. The play was originally right, offside right as we here. It'll get held up at the blue line, but this is offside here. Right Although that puck doesn't enter the zone, it's on the blue line. So it it doesn't enter the white area, but it's still considered offside. It's the North Star. Now it follows down. Tenorti's questioning the call. He gets a little whack there from Chelios, and then it all starts in. I mean, the Chicago Blackhawk modus operandi is a gang warfare approach. They are they they swarm, they attack. They follow, and that's exactly what we see there. Now oh, Dollar. Checked as they go to the corner. Goulet stapling off Dollar to the boards. Puck poked free by Bellows for Brock. Now Wilkinson. Drive, tip, score! As Neil Wilkinson's drive went off a stick Brian. and into the back of the net, and the North Stars lead one to nothing. Brian Bellows is going to get this goal as Neil Brock makes a great head fake to open up the middle of the ice, this puck. Now, all the time, well, watch also Bellows. He and Hudson jostle and jostle. Now, you have to pay the price to score goals. He gives it back. Now, Broughton here makes a good head fake to open up the ice. It comes back to the left point. Now, Bellows goes to the front of the net and tips the shot to beat the youngster on the short side. Again, a lot of good plays. Watch Bellows get position there after paying the price down deep to score the goal. Is it thought you're going to score 50 or 60 in this league? You got to pay the price. Brian Bellows did exactly that. One nothing Minnesota North Stars. He stood in there pretty well to score his goal. That was a pretty good shift by the veteran. Now springing back over the line. Here comes Paul Gillis. A swing and a miss. They score anyway. Oh, Hudson didn't get anything on it, but it slid right under Brian Hayward. And the Hawks are on the scoreboard at 9.59 of the second. It's a 1 1 game. Chris Dahlquist gets caught up ice, but Hudson essentially fans on. Everybody's in pretty good position here, but he makes the written Now, Hayward has made his move to the original shot. The problem is that puck hit his stick again. He tipped it the second time. You're right. Watch here as Hudson takes the first shot. Watch. Now, as he follows through and he misses it, watch him tip it again right there. And that knocked it back underneath Hayward's body you know Hayward say oh my god it was a slow job but Hudson fans on the original shot and then tips it on the way through blue line for the stars gets Chris Dahlquist out of position at two on one but oh here we go now Shane Sherlock over there Grimson is Ch uh, Cherlin Grimson. Grimson all right Dan Shack to the linesman Took a little bit of that one too it looked like as Grimson is trying to punch around the linesman well, that will be the end of that with 9.55 to go in the second. North Stars won and the Blackhawks won. He hits him with an elbow. Now he drops his glove and whacks him. And Grimson has yet to drop the gloves. Now the official will come in and watch Boink, Boink. And he comes around a couple times there. The official, Brosker, I think is going to catch one maybe right. Oh, man. No, Churla caught that one. The official did not. But Grimson 
Great Sunday punch by Crimson. Wow, that one came around the corner and up the bend. And Saturday night in the last home game of the year. Won't that be great? That's some good scheduling. Manson's black for the score. Manson drove it in and it might have gone in anyway. But Wayne Presley made sure, and it's a power play goal for the Blackhawks. First time for either team in 10 power plays today. Two to one, Chicago. Now again, you talk about numerous times how you have to go to the net to make things happen. Now you see Presley just head to the net as Manson tees it up. That gets Hayward thinking. He misses the shot. That's going and in Presley anyway. just taps it in. But again, you see the Hawks head to the net. Go to the net, go to the net. That makes the goaltender think a little more. So he doesn't get himself quite set up. And Presley just taps it in. But I think, that, as you mentioned, Doug, the puck's going in anyway. But if nobody goes to the net, all Hayward has to do is concentrate on the shot. Bob McGill for Chicago, away for Thomas. Angle to neutralize. Here comes Mike Hudson. Over with Gillis. Hudson's backhand. He scores. That is Mike Hudson on a nice-looking backhander as the Blackhawks run the margin to 3-1 to one on the fifth goal of the year for Hudson. Well, again, this puck is going to get caught up just as Hudson goes to backhand it. Now watch as comes across. Johnson lays his stick in there right here. Johnson's going to come across as the puck goes off Gillis' foot. And watch him just lay his stick in there and deflect it. Again, Ryan Hayward having just an awful lot of tough luck with the puck just either not sitting up or a guy touching it at the last minute. Mike Hudson gets his sixth of the year as the Hawks explode in the second period. Yesterday they scored five times against the Penguins in the second period. They've got three so far here. The shot up Presley, but then watch him struggle to get back across the net. You see, he does not move particularly well left to right. You know, he comes in and out pretty well. And Goulet makes it four. It is four to one Chicago at 13.47. Two goals, 16 seconds apart for the Blackhawks and all four of them since 9.59. Four to one. Now again, this is going to come right off the draws. as a missed assignment down low because Goulet is allowed to stand essentially by himself and bury the puck. Again, Sean Chambers just a little bit guilty of running around. He makes a mistake and then tries to overcompensate. Problem is, he just doesn't get back in position to just to, you know hold my ground. I say, okay, I'm not gonna make a mistake, make a mistake, make a mistake. Let me make a mistake and get back in position. That man buries the puck. Neil Wilkinson, that's like corked him on the helmet. Smith and Presley down to Cray and McGill. Here we go. The big dogs are yapping for Cray and McGill. Oh, and Basil. Look at those lefts. Gill was, McGill was landing them on Basil's helmet, and McCray got about four or five solid lefts to the face. Now McGill gets a few in. Basil got him right on the schnoz. Chicago Blackhawks will be at Met Center Saturday night in the last home game of the year. It should be fairly entertaining. But they'll start, they'll start, you know, they're pushing the hands back. Now, how am I going to go at them and what am I going to do? I've done this many times before. And bang, he gets on top of the puck. Another guy that knows how to score is Steve Larmer, but... Ed Gilbert for Chicago, Graham trailing. Alquist annihilates Gilbert on the wing boards. Tenorti sails down against Graham. Right in front to Murray, save, rebound, score. Troy Murray got his own rebound, and the Blackhawks have exploded for five goals here in the second period. And don't tell me Chicago can't score any goals. As you said, that was the wrap. Pay no more. It's 5 1 Chicago. Well, Greg Gilbert. Greg Gilbert makes a great pass back to Graham. Now he gets blocked here by Dahlquist, but again, now Graham ties up Tenorti. Gilbert's gonna get the puck. Now watch the pass right there. That got three North Stars beat and out of position with one little pass. What a great pass. 
And, uh, you know, Murray just has so much time to rebound, but it was the one pass back against the flow by Greg Gilbert to Graham. Graham sends it to Murray, 5-1, Chicago. Bellows for Minnesota, under 11 minutes to go. Jam Russell intercepted off Bellows. Craig shoots and he scores. The outlet hit Bellows in the skate, and Mike Craig turned around and popped it in. So well, Bellows and Craig have both been on both stars' goals. It's 5-2. to two. Well, Cam Russell is playing because Steve Conroy, the veteran defenseman, has had an injury. He's missed the last two games. He just can't quite get the handle on this puck. That was the second time. And how many times have we seen when Mike Craig has been on the ice, how many times has he been around the puck? A high percentage of the times. Yes. And right here, he's on top of the puck and just snaps it toward the net. Again, that puck hits another stick and goes. But unless you're around the puck, you never get an opportunity. Kids played really well. Ronick in the corner, checked by Gagne. Madonna. Wilson, center. Here's Glenn Chipper, no. Puck fires, save. Belfort, they score, and the rebound. And all of a sudden, it's a two-goal game. The Stars crash the net and keep things going, and it's 5-3. to three. But Again, you may get some argument, although it doesn't look like it, that this would be hit with a high stick. There are a lot of high stick whacks at this thing, but nobody really hits it. It'll be interesting to see who finally gets this goal as Glenn, again, up high, drop stops the first one. Now the puck's going to go up here. There's one high stick I missed, two high sticks I missed. No puck touches that, no stick touches that puck, and it finally goes in the net. Going to see it here come again. Glenn will take the first shot. Prop's going to get this goal. It goes up. It's never touched after Prop right. hits Belfour. You know, the Hawks kind of standing around, but Glenn and then Prop, a couple attempts to knock it in by Gagne. I think Brian Prop's going to get this. Again, Manson. And Gavin just collapsing to the net as Manson seems to take a little poke at Gavin as he skates by. And I was talking about Manson before. He walks, he treads that real fine line about playing with enough control to be effective, but he, 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 he needs that emotion to play. Watch him as he skates away. Watch him take with the left hand here. Boink. <laughs> it's like a, you know, they are an agitating bunch of hockey players, the Chicago Blackhawks. Well, let me ask you on the same subject then. As Michelle Goulet comes down on the break on Hayward. Save by Brian Hayward. The Hawk. Neither player really makes any move, but from Hayward's point of view, that's just as good. He's set up. Goulet has done really nothing to make Hayward move. He just coasted in Came right from the blue the slide, line in. Yeah. Didn't do anything. And from Hayward's point of view, he says, that's fine. On five and six advantage. Six on five. Smith, Broughton, Madano, Gagne, Bellows with a drive, he scores off the goal post. It's a low percentage play, but when it works, it's great. And Bellows with the empty net, the goalie pulled, clangs one in off the goal post, and it's 5-4. to four. Well, you talk about execution off a of face-off when you're a man up, and that's just springing that extra man off the face-off. Let's watch everybody. See them hold him up off the face-off. That allows Gagne to throw the puck back to Bellows. Now Bellows gets a shot off the right post to the left post and in the net. But again, the shot, this was created off the face-off as that puck sails to the net. Belfort misses it, goes up the right post into the net. 5-4 hockey game. Puck behind. Hayward is off at 19-11 of the third period. But here's Goulet to the empty net. 42 seconds to go. Offside. I think he's oh, called offside. an offside. No goal. I think he's called an offside. You're right. There's no goal. There's no goal. It was offside. In the third, 5-4 Blackhawks. I think what this game does also, the North Star standpoint is shows the Hawks that we're going to be a little tougher battle, I think, than maybe you thought we were going to be. A tremendous crunch by Manson on the Bellows. Hayward is off again. Only two seconds left in the game, though, and that's the end of it. But a game drive of the North Stars, who were in a world of hurt there for a while, but came roaring back. And...